Hi, we'll talk about the story of three friends who wanted to go on an adventure trip. They came across a river where there was a sign post saying average depth 5 feet. Now, each of the friends were having different heights. The first friend was roughly around 4 to 5 feet. He was less than the average depth. The other two were close to 6 feet height. They were higher than the average depth of the river. However, the first friend which was around 4 feet tall, he was a very good swimmer and confident about his abilities. The second friend was confident. He did not know swimming, but he was confident enough. He was thinking that it's just 5 feet uh, average depth. I am 6 feet. I will easily cross through. The third friend was a little bit not confident. He was panicking because he wasn't a good swimmer and he was he didn't like water. So as they entered into the water, let's see what happened. The water had strong currents. The first friend who was a good swimmer did not anticipate such strong currents and he got swiped away by the river the moment he entered into it. The second friend when he entered into the river and he thought that the river was six or an average five feet was kind of greeted with a very rude shock. The word was average depth. The water was anywhere from knee deep to as deep as 10 feet in terms of depth. He got scared. He got trapped into one deep pocket of the river and finally got swept away by the current as well. The third friend was anyways not confident and when he saw his first and second friend swept away, he gradually tried to crawl through but again he got trapped into one of the deep pockets and got drowned again. This was very tragic. Sadly, all the three friends drowned and they all relied upon concept of averages. When the villagers around that river came to know about it, they were very sad about this incident. They thought to le- have a lesson kind of about this particular situation told about the entire village. They took away that average step sign post away. So what does this story tell us about in terms of relying upon averages? Relying solely upon averages can be very dangerous, both while in the case of the story while crossing the river and also while managing your personal finances. Just like the way the river had average depth varying, but it was varying from knee deep to 10 feet. And hence we realize that it goes much beyond the average numbers. There are certain other averages which we very loosely use in the world of personal finance. Examples are like average incomes, average expenses, average returns on investment. This is one of the most common ones. Let's take one example, average returns. We'll take one asset which most of the families do invest in, gold. You know, do you know that the gold in last 10 years gave an average return of 7%? That sounds quite awesome. But if I add some data of how it swept um, kind of moved year on year, let me give you some numbers. In 2019 and 2020, the returns were as high as 23 and 26% for that year. So on the other hand, let me show you the negative side of this picture as well. In 2013, Gold gave a negative return of 14% that year. Another year, it gave a negative 8% return. It was not that in the past. Even in 2021, it gave a negative 4%. So on the other hand, we saw negatives, which were double digit and double digit positives. So much for the average return of 7%. Now, when a person gets into that 7%, which side will he get trapped into? Upside or downside? Similarly, an investor investing on the basis of average would expect that he's getting he's going to get a very smooth ride but eventually he'll get swept away by these fluctuations ups and downs ups and downs you don't want that right and hence a very loose concept creeps into one's mind that seeing the average a person may significantly underestimate the risk associated with a financial product or a financial decision and often resulting into incorrect decisions and losses another kind of very common example for averages is average income. Now, we would expect average income means we will have a smooth average income throughout our life. But do we factor into those fluctuations which comes in in place with the, the averages? Example, a job loss completely gone down to zero, if not into debt. Remember the COVID situation which came our way. How about an unforeseen expense which actually will make a significant dent into your average savings? Example, a hospitalization bill. So, so much again for an average kind of income a person may have. So, considering these things, averages can be really tricky and hence we would suggest that you must conduct significant research of the particular product or decision you are doing. If this is not your forte, seek a professional advice. Develop a con comprehensive understanding of the respective financial situation you are trying to deal with it. And by evaluating these individual factors which impact the average return both on upside and downside, you will be able to make better decisions which will result in a more secure and
and stable financial outcome in the future. If you like a video about this concept, please do share it with your friends and family members. It would help in avoiding risky decisions taken on the basis of averages. Thank you.